Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Brookfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, April 12th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to approve the warrants for uh, the payroll warrant for 41216. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the select minutes for 119, 223, 315, 324, and 329. I will make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the monthly reports and minutes from the fire department from March 16. Merrick Public Library Board of Trustees, 31416 16, and the Bylaw Committee for 4516. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Any none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Brookfield's 10th annual Meet the Candidates Night. The Brookfield Republican Town Committee proudly announces its 10th annual Meet the Candidates Night to be held Tuesday, April 19th, which is a week from today at 6.30 p.m. right here in the Brookfield Town Hall Banquet Room. The event is an open forum where anyone in attendance may ask a question of any candidate. Town elections will be held Monday, May 2nd at the Town Hall. All candidates running for public office are invited to attend. Local Public Access Committee is seeking members. The committee is also seeking videographers to tape meetings and local events. Those interested should contact Ms. Mahoney at <coughs> local access, all one word, at brookfieldma.us. Mr. Wallinan, District Aide to Senator Ann Gobi, We'll be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, April 20th. All are welcome. Any other announcements? Okay. Hearing none, anybody wish to address the board this evening? Yeah. Welcome. I'll come back up here for uh, agenda number, item. Number two and six. All right. Um, we got, the advisory board's got a question um, on the clerks. So I figured we were doing the clerks. You got you got the town accountant um, as a special line now with their having their own clerk. We want to know why that's not coming out of the municipal clerk account. Um, I'll field that one. The town accountant is her own um, entity for budget, so that would be the request from the town accountant. Nothing to do with the selectman's office. Did that, did that all go through the personnel board, and did we vote to have another person put in as a clerk? The yep. board of selectmen allowed no. a temporary clerk, as far as I'm concerned. And I, then we did go through, I'm pretty sure, on the personnel board for the, the clerk. For Yes, we did. And um, see, the only reason that we <coughs> put it in with the municipal clerk, because we had some extra money. That's why. There was some extra money in that account. So that's why we allowed it to come out of that salary. Where is the money coming from now? The municipal. It's still it, yes. It's okay, still but she's out. got a new line item in her new budget. For yes, this 17. is yes. This is what we told her that you know she could have you know if she wanted to continue on with the same clerk that she should put a line item in, and it would be anywhere from five to ten hours a week. Some hours. Some ten weeks hours. Of, she's got in for ten. It's yeah, five. five now. Yeah, but she also but she had said that sometimes it could be five, sometimes it could be up to the ten. Well, what's going on? Everybody, we're getting we're, just, we're getting more and more and more people, and the well, town's not growing. I I, I, I mean, what's going on here? I personally, on town floor, wouldn't vote for ten hours a week for a clerk for that department. We didn't vote for it last night at all. Well, she needs about uh, <clears throat> by having the the clerk in there. It has helped her a lot. She has caught up on a lot of things. Well, she was sick. I understand yes, I that, understand but that, but too, I mean, she can help. You know, post. Uh, she's going to get her. Uh, involved with the computer so that you know she'd be able to post different things and also it, in a way it could be a backup for her if she was out again and I think it's well, important that, that, to have some, good limit, but it I mean, is important to have somebody in that office I mean she's she's wanted help day for years in that office because she has a, she does have a lot to do you know just more clerks more hours for each clerk I mean it's just I mean what, what's going on I mean we're going through the budgets and they're just getting big big mm. you know taxes are going up I mean what's going on is the town growing? Am I missing something when I'm riding around town? Do we build 50 more new houses in town? Is there more streets being added? Is the work getting done? The work is getting done in there. She, it's helping. It's been a big help <clears> to her to have I a I always hear that the work is getting done and the work is not getting done. 
Well, now it is getting and I'm done. I'm not just referring to her. I'm referring in a lot of departments, and it just more and more and more, and it looks like we're going backwards. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think it's a good thing that we have gotten All right, ha, just, have got a clerk for the for okay. the town accountant because she had asked for a clerk for many many years and she hasn't had one. Okay, so right now it's coming out of the municipal funds, what yep. we thought, but but now it's going to be a new thing coming, yes. a, a new yes. line item yes. on her budget. And it could be anywhere from five to ten hours a week. Okay, now report back to her. All right, so when you get up to two and six, I'll be I'd like to weigh in if I may. Thank you, sir. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? All right, item number one, public hearing discussion. We put this on because Mr. Snyder uh, wanted a public hearing in regards to town hall. The more I think about it, I, I don't think it's needed. So I'll just, I'll let you speak to it. So uh, after our meeting last time, I talked to Sharon about the idea of a hearing or a PSA. Bill did such a great job with the police station where he sat with the architect and went through things. So there's an alternative of a PSA sort of thing where you explain things that way. Or because I have the opportunity or had the opportunity to do my little selectman observation thing, uh, I've already put in words, uh, in short, five, well, 400 words, um, what I believe we're talking about as far as uh, a workable plan, uh, phased approach, the opportunity to go after certain funding over periods of time rather than all at once where plans in the past were multi-million dollar things, all or one, all, all or nothing, basically. This, the, the path that this particular architect has set us on is flexibility and moving kind of dominoes around the building as you phase things in and to line those phases up with the ability to go after money. So uh, that, that would be something that I would encourage the voters to support. But you're okay with not having a... It, no, I, I, I would put in front of whether you want to do it or you want me to do it or... Well, the, the, what I would like to do is have an article at the annual town meeting. Right. And, you know, basically just have the discussion on the town floor yeah. and that's where we go from there. Yeah. Oh, have I'm, a small, I'm, I'm totally cool yeah, with that. Like what we've done in years past, it's been like a small... We've limited, it's been like a small presentation. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that would be on the moderator. My, my mm -hmm. intent would be to basically have a copy of the plan that mm -hmm. we continuously mm -hmm. talk about so people can grab it when they yeah. come in, a line item to transfer that 50000 to a specific right. desire for what we plan on doing mm -hmm. and have that discussion, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and if it's going to be more, to add a dollar amount to that. No, that's that's fine. I'm just saying, if, if if we have the opportunity to do a PSA, maybe we'll do that too. Okay. All right. Item number two, <coughs> Mr. Chaffee, did you want to join us? <coughs> Seasonal worker, highway department. Is there other apps in there too? Applications. There are. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. At the last meeting, we discussed the individual that you put forward. Um, me personally, I don't think that that individual is worth the $15 an hour requested or presented by the personnel board. And we had that discussion. We tabled it to this evening. So I don't know if you two have had any yeah, I, thought on it. I, I, willing to make the motion to recommend, recommend or move forward with the recommendation of the personnel committee. Because what I, what I now have learned, and, and it goes with the work that is in front of the highway department this year, is that there's a lot of mechanical work that needs to be done, can be done. And this particular individual has more than just, when we say seasonal worker, the idea of grass and all those kinds of things come to mind. But this particular individual has mechanical capabilities to help with the reconstruction of trucks and uh, street sweep sweepers and the like. So I turned to her for what, what I missed in our conversation. No, it's pretty much it. He, you know, I've talked to the gentleman more than once, and uh, he's got some, some experience out there. He don't have a whole lot, you know. He's an experienced electrician. And he's an electrical experience, which is good. So he I, knows some I, things about electrical and wiring and stuff, which... I, I, I know this individual very, very well. I would literally jump in front of a bullet for this individual. I want to say his name, but I don't think that's fair to him. Um, no. Love the kid to death, but I don't think he's worth 15 bucks an hour, and I wouldn't vote for him. 
Well, what do you think of fair, fair wages, minimum wage? I, I, I would be okay with $12 an hour. Well, why don't you go to McDonald's or whatever and work over there because you'll get minimum wage at $12 an hour and do a heck of a lot less work. He was, he was making less than that at his job that he actually got fired from recently and the recommendation from an individual that you spoke to and I commend you for looking into his past um, said between 10 and 12. I'm willing to give a kid from town a chance, all right? If he doesn't work out, I'll let you know. I, I you know that's my experience. Yep. If you don't give somebody a chance, they're never going to learn, Steve. Uh, Just because they come out of school. Herb, you're attacking me right now, yeah. so low, low, lower the voice. Lower this the, is how I talk all the time, so Steve. This, I'm going to ask and you. And I've told you that more than once. I'm going to ask you to lower the voice because it got a couple octaves higher, so lower the voice. I, I talk I, this I'm way not, all the time, I'm Steve. not attacking this individual. Yes, you are. I just said I jumped in front of the You're discriminating against him because he just got out of high school. Okay. So that's that's my two that cents. That discrimination can get you in trouble, Steve. So I it's, it's on, cam it's on camera. So anybody that's out there that thinks I'm discriminating against this individual, they can contact me well, personally. My number's in the book. Love the kid to death. Just I'm don't, looking out for don't the taxpayers. I'm the looking person. out. You keep throwing that word discrimination, Herb. Out. You right. You just uh, said okay. he just got out of high school. He's not worth fifteen. He is not worth fifteen dollars an hour. If you label that as discrimination, I'm sorry for you. What if I hire a 65-year-old guy? Is he worth $15 an hour? It depends on his experience. He's got none. Same, same experience. He's, then he's not worth $15 an hour, no. Am I discriminating against that 65-year-old individual? You probably no. are. Yeah. I'm looking at an experience and I'm looking out for the taxpayers of this town. Yeah. <clears throat> you are looking out for the taxpayers of the town. It, all right, it's up to the board whether or not yeah. if you want to hire so somebody. We have one to one, Linda, you're, you're just if you well, want to hire. I, uh, Go ahead. I looked at the experience myself. And I saw that Cindy had sent us a seasonal worker from Wales. And yeah, that they were advertising in Wales. Yeah, and I think I would be willing to pay him 14 an hour. Well, unfortunately, we advertised at the 15 because we did the same exact but, thing. We but, talked to the board beforehand before we advertised. But the thing was, you, though, most, you most certainly did not talk about putting a dollar amount on that advertisement. And when we, when we brought we it up, we said we were using the same setup is last year. Clarence? What we did is we advertised at 15. That is a reality. Well, I, I, it is a reality. And it but was brought we had up to told them though, that we didn't right? want them to do so that be, because of the problem mm, so, that we had with the other highway worker. Yeah, that's correct. So, so what happened was we advertised a year ago at 15. We hired at 15. Everything all worked out. We went and advertised this time because there wasn't a discussion, and that is totally correct. But we did advertise. We put an ad in, and it ran twice at $15. What we also then did is to say, in the future, we should not be doing that. And we asked Cindy not to do that, and it mm -hmm. certainly has been agreed to. And additional ads have, in fact, not had dollar amounts. Mm -hmm. However, from a, from, a, from a personnel bylaw or from a personnel committee perspective, my other concern, not only do I have this gentleman having some mechanical capabilities, I would also offer that we, in fact, did advertise at 15. Further, we're looking at hiring somebody from May to June. We're so, at, at Clarence, you, you, that's the second time you wrote up mechanical experience. Nowhere in this resume shows mechanical experience. This, this is what? an electrician that was a journeyman electrician that got fired from the job that he listed on this application. I would turn to the highway superintendent and suggest what are the capabilities that this gentleman brought for, brings forth. The highway superintendent says he has some mechanical skills. If electrical is not mechanical to you, okay, fine. Where I'm kind of parked is I knew something about electrical once and I know something about mechanical once. And somebody who has had some experience and the highway superintendent is willing to work with that uh, employee to bring them along I think is a very important thing. We also have some other issues that we're facing with the highway department where a bunch of people didn't take a whole bunch of vacation last year and we we have to get that vacation off the books mm. and so having somebody that we can bring in and get going is, a, is super important to me. The other thing is we've run another ad we have no uh, people coming forth we're in a bind so we need to be doing something. 
And again, a dollar here or there at this point for two months. I, I'm sorry. It, it, it's more move along. It's, it's, get only it. two, okay. it, it's only two months. I thought it was. We only had the money up until the end of June. Exactly. Then we got a new budget. Okay. So you, so how how many how long how much further does he go into the new budget? Right now, I don't know if I got a budget for him. There, there will be a line item on it. Yeah, no, there, there yeah. was presented at the advisory board and everything else. There and I'm, I'm begging to you, logic, Linda, that this individual is not worth fourteen dollars an hour. Steve, you want to come out and work for twelve dollars an hour and uh, pull brush all day long with us? I did it for free Saturday. No, no, no. I mean all day long. I did it all day long Saturday. You know. To help a buddy out. Okay. It, it's a job, Herb. Twelve dollars an hour is a fair wage for physical labor. You're going to have a lot of people that are probably going to call and say that's unfair. It's a $10 and hopefully, minimum. And hopefully they do call. An inexperienced but, individual. I can, I can tell you this right now. If this does not, if we don't have a seasonal help this summer, the lawn mowing in town, all of it, it's not going to get done by the highway department because we don't have time. Okay? Simple as that. So now you're saying we're going to pay $15 an hour to mow lawns. That's more on lines and doing all the other highway stuff, Steve. Mm -hmm. You're starting to put words into my I, mouth. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Yes, you are. You just told me if we don't hire this individual, no lawn is going to get mowed. I no, eat, no. I, 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 this I, can mow lawns at this. I can mow lawns at my rate. That's no problem. So you want to take them to it this way and that way, that's fine. What do you want to do, Bobby? Fire me? Herb, Herb, is that what you're saying? Herb, through the you board. You're taking this fire while we're Herb, talking. Through the board. All right. I, but there's something that has to help out this summer. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, if we're talking that the ad is an issue, legal issue, we run another ad, or we seek town council to see if we can approach this individual at a lower rate. Slide that down, please. That stuff that's on the list that needs to get done this summer. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not going to happen. You know, we need help. And we're, you know, we're not. Last, we're not arguing. We're, we asked, we're not arguing that mm -hmm. we don't want to give you help, Herb. What we're discussing is that this individual that you put forth before us, you put forth before us, yep. is not worth fifteen dollars an hour. You got three applicants here. Mm -hmm. Which one do you say is worth fifteen dollars an hour? I didn't look at the other two because you put forth this one. And this is the recommendation that I made: one, two, and three. You know. To, to be honest with you, I don't think anyone mowing lawns primarily or doing grunt work, physical labor, as you said, is worth fifteen dollars an hour. They, they don't have any. You, you you stand before us not only at every selectman's meeting but every town floor mm -hmm. and argue that the highway department and any other department in this in this town aren't getting paid enough. And then we come in and we hire somebody that has no experience on doing anything and giving them a high rate. How is that fair to anybody else that you're arguing for in these you, years? You ask a board here in this town office area to look into that fair wage through the town. <clears throat> has that been done? Fair wage for what? That was the onus is on the advisory committee through their budget process. I can't speak for the advisory committee. So in other words, you haven't got any information back from the advisory board where they looked into the fair wage within, yeah. in the same size as Brookfield. When we met as a select board, we asked what the uh, status of the pay rate was going to be. And there was, no, mm -hmm. there was no discussion had by the advisory committee at that time. That was about, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to look at this, Steve? Okay. I'm familiar with what you have to do, Herb. All right. Nobody's saying you guys aren't working. I think they gave you a round of applause, a standing ovation at the last town mm -hmm. meeting, if you recall. I'm just asking for some help. Steve. And we're willing to give it to you, but I'm not going to, I'm one of three. He says he'll give him 15. I'm not going to give him 15. I beg Linda not give yes. him 14. That, that, that's so unfair to other people in this town that are making under that for doing more than this individual. Well, then somebody needs to come up trying to keep the town up to snuff. I'd be, I'd be willing to so offer this individual The police station down there, right? Have you been down to the police station? Yeah. You like that grass that's four inches up on the siding already? Something, it, it, something it, should a, be done. It's the first or second week of April, Herb. Most mm -hmm. people don't start mowing lawns until May. The grass is four inches up onto the siding okay. already. 
So something needs to be done. So we'll get Paul down there if you guys can't do it. Or I'll come up on the weekend and grab the lawnmower and do it myself. I just need some help. If you're not going to give me the help. We're, we're asking you to come down on this. I don't know if we have to go through town council to see if the ad jeopardizes us in any way. I'm willing to offer this individual $12 an hour. Mr. Martell, have a question. Mr. Snyder, have you made a motion initially? I have. It was, it was, it was a pending motion. It, so, motion so, so Peter, if you'd like to chair this, you can run against me next year. This, this is a board of selectmen's meeting. I was just clarifying that. Thank you, sir. So, so Linda, we're having a discussion. I'm, I'm willing to. I'm willing to go like thirteen dollars an hour. May I speak before you guys get done with the discussion? All right, I'll let you speak, Dave. Um, first of all, this ad that we're talking about, I spoke to. Uh, <clears throat> I spoke to you, Clarence, at the yep. selections meeting about a month ago when this ad first went in, and I told you that we had this discussion a year ago when we hired the truck driver, and the price was not supposed to go in the ad, and that was rectified supposedly. This year, again, it went in again. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to you at that selections meeting, and I said that should be retracted, and you said you were going to look into it. It did not get retracted. The next week, it came out again. It ran for what we paid for. <clears throat> We were not supposed to put in the per hour. We discussed this a year ago. It caused a lot of problems. I was not present a year ago, so therefore I can't take credit okay, for that. Okay, but I spoke to you at that selections meeting yep. that we had that problem a year ago, and you said you'd look into it. And I did. The ad got reprinted again, $15 an hour. <clears throat> the same ad followed as it was supposed to be. We paid for two weeks. We got two weeks. You can still make a change and change the ad. You can call them up and change the ads. I do it all the time. <clears throat> Second of all, uh, we got people in this town that work pretty hard, and they're not even making 15 an hour. They've been in this town a long time. They work in a lot of departments, okay. and we're going to hire someone for 15, a guy fresh out of school. Yep. yep. That's outrageous. Okay. That's your and opinion. And thirdly, the original reason we were going to hire this guy was to cut lawns, not to do mechanical work. He was going to help do lawns, put street signs in, do manual labor, go out with the highway guys and help them out. That's what he was originally going to get hired for. Now you're talking mechanics? Yep. <clears throat> Maybe so. As, as we hired a year ago. But we can't, you know, the advisory board discussed this with the selectmen. You were there. And we came up around 12, 13. That's what we came up with. Not right. information that's in front of me. <clears throat> What's that? It was an information that was put in front of me. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm putting in front of you as well. His, <clears throat> his instructor from last year is recommending 10 to 12. And I believe he even, he even spoke to Herb and said not to even hire him. Am I wrong? Excuse me? Did his instructor say not to hire him? No, he did not. Oh, then somebody's lying to me. So, despite the age and all this other stuff, but the first of getting back to what's really an important thing to me is, is the other workers in our town, okay? Everybody complains they're not making enough. But the ones that are working, they've been here a long time and they're not making 15 an hour. And you're just going to hire someone for 15 an hour, you know what that's going to do? That's going to cause a riff. Then you're going to have the highway guys say, hey, I'm only making a buck 50 more and I'm doing this, I got my licenses. I want another two bucks. It's going to be a ripple effect. So I would suggest. So we're in, we're in the wrong at starting a seasonal work at 15. What, what I would turn to the chairman and suggest is that I, in fact, would ask the council, if you have to ask council, that we have, in fact, set up a precedent. We set it up a year ago. We hired at 15 for the same ad. And it's we're now looking to hire again in this year. And we have a recommendation from the personnel committee that said 15. And now we're, we're now backing away from that. And is there a liability to the town for not fulfilling or hiring <clears throat> based on that advertisement. You haven't hired anyone yet, so we don't have to go there. I, 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 I personally feel that this individual will be an asset to the town of Brookfield. He's a great kid. He's a good worker. I've seen the kid work. I've been around him when he works. He, he's a good kid. He's a great worker. He's not an individual that's worth $15 that's not the an point hour. I was making to, to me, it is the point. The point You're is talking we've got about people in this town that are not making that kind of money. You've, and you've been dedicated to the town of Brookfield, and now you're going to just say, screw you, we're going to give someone that now. I'm the one, that, I'm the one that's taking the bows here, yeah. the, yeah. the, well, the arrows, okay. because, just, because, because I'm saying he's not worth 15. 
And I've used that as an argument as well. So I'm not saying what you're saying. Right, but now we're in the jam again because you got this ad, which I spoke three, three, four weeks ago. I came to your board and I said, hey, you got to take that figure out of there. So I, and it didn't get done. So it so, didn't, so, didn't, have, any, but didn't so, have anything to do with us to take it out of there. It was the department that took it in, but if it's running there for two weeks, it's kind of hard to get that out of there. So, so for, for a make a phone day. call, take it out. For the next week, take it out. Then you need to find somebody else to do this job. So, so my question it's, to it's you, would, would, would this board be unanimous, mm -hmm. and that's what I want, I want a harmonious, unanimous board moving forward in this discussion, would we be open to the fact of allowing this individual, hiring this individual at $12 an hour if town council approves the ad? If we can make that offer. Correct. Mm -hmm. If we can make well, an offer of twelve dollars, see an what hour. town council says. First. But I, I'd like to be able to put it into effect at once. We I could literally call Michelle once we get out of this meeting, mm -hmm. and she can approve it. And I would only turn to the highway superintendent for mm -hmm. his input. Well, the way I feel, like you say, you've seen him work. He'd be an asset to the town, and I feel like thirteen he, is still too much, Linda. Well, 12, 12, I, 12, 12 is I maximum. agree at thirteen, and I mean he'll he can get the experience and maybe you know for another year or even if they needed some more time then he could get enough experience to be worth the fifteen dollars an hour so why wouldn't you say twelve if you're just arguing that he has no experience no, I'm just but I'm just going down trying to be middle of the line in between the two middle of, to me middle of the line is twelve that's high line because it was it was recommended to me by someone that's had mm -hmm. him for three years that it was a ten to twelve dollar an hour rate that he recommends mm -hmm. we should have this discussion Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna entertain a motion, and I'll, I'll listen to you okay. after Kermit. Entertain a motion to a pending town council's opinion, if it's legal, to hire said individual for twelve dollars an hour, effective upon town council's review. Do I have that motion? I'll make the motion. Do I have a second, second for discussion, Mr. Eaton? Uh, I think it was last year I, I was talking to. Brookfield, they, they do see, they hire seasonal people. And they, at the time, the uh, lady there told me that they had 12 applicants for part-time help. I think they hired two people. I, I don't know what the rate is, but it, what does West Brookfield pay? And if they got 12 applicant, appli applicants? But, but that's, that's a discussion here, and in my mind, what sticks in my craw is we have someone in town that kind of does the same exact thing that's making a little over $11 an hour. I, I, that's I that's know, been I, here for just, years. It's just, it's a, just a reference yeah. point. I don't know. Westbrook Fields said they had no problem hiring seasonal people. I don't, I don't know if they were paying 15 or 12, but they said that they, and again, that was maybe in different times, but they said that they had 12 applications that they had been pretty solid ones that they had so I, I don't know what they did. Any further discussion on this motion? I was just going to turn to the highway superintendent for his input. On what? The twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to get anybody for twelve dollars. Obviously, That's my opinion. obviously, you're he going to get a a person like you have in the town hall right now for twelve dollars an hour that don't have a okay, so the knowledge or anything that can move forth. So your position is that we can't find somebody. I doubt dollars. if you will. Okay, so um, we'll move the question. We're not moving the question. The question's on the floor. Well, you got to The motion's on the floor, so I'm, I'm going to call for a vote. Yeah, no maybe. further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 So it's unanimous. So if this individual, if we seek town council's opinion, they're okay with the advertising the way it was, and we can offer this individual twelve dollars an hour. You'll be able to contact him and seek his. Yeah, get a hold. I got a question. Unanimous. <clears throat> yes, Dave. What happens if town council uh, tells you no go? Because of the screw up on the then, then I, I would ask Cindy immediately to repost it or seek town council's opinion on how to move forward. Okay. Do all of the answer that? Okay. Yep. But we'll, we'll prove one way or the other whether we can hire a twelve. Yeah. All right, so item number three is passed over. Item number, actually while Herb's here, let's take that out of order. Item number six, driveway discussion. Uh, I was informed through an email that um, the highway department mm -hmm. refuses to, I guess for lack of better words, repair 16 East Main Street as we discussed. 
So Herb, reason for that? Well, there's really nothing to well, go up there at the moment because the driveway's been pushed around more than once with the uh, a snow plow, so pretty level from where it is right now. I haven't seen it. There's not much I can do up there. So. so what Herb promised to do was the berm that was there yeah. in March, Herb was going to uh, scallop that berm to make it go away. We informed the owner that in fact Herb would in fact do that. And what happened in the meantime was through the use of a snow plow, what, the berm was flattened. So what are you looking yeah. for, Mr. Holcraft? Let me see, let me see. This is before this and that's after. This is before and that's after. What's after? That was that's the, the, the one in your, the one in your was, hand is that after. That was what was draining the water. You can see the pattern of the water being drained away. Yeah, that's because he, he tore the driveway up. Well, he, he made the berm right there. He made a berm right there. That's a berm. Yeah, that's right. And, he, and, when, and when he did that, the water came down here and washed out that part of the driveway. Okay? The, I took the, the, the that's snow the, plow. That's the washout. That's what we fixed. That's right. We're not talking about that. My driveway. talking about that. My talking driveway about is that. right here. Yeah. So that berm right there. That's, that's right. That's what we're talking right. about. Right. See this hole here? That was where he got the material to make that berm. Okay? And then when the water came down from the snow wall along the berm, it washed us out. Now, I, in order to get to my house, I had to take my snow plow one time and smooth it out. Well, look right there. Yeah. You so, have, you so again, the question, Mr. Holcraft, what are you looking for the highway I'm department I'm looking to do? For, I'm looking for this town and this highway department to put my driveway back the way it was. And I want crushed stone, this type of stone I had up here. I want some brought in here, and I want it rolled and packed like it was before he damaged my driveway. There's no reason for him to put a berm here, Clarence. Uh, all I and see he still is hasn't removed the rocks over here that he wanted to remove. And you told me four times that the driveway would be fixed. I talked to him on the phone. They, 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 I told you he would remove that berm. I removed that berm. I, guess I you told did. you that up here. I smoothed it out the best I could with my snowplow truck. In order to get to my property. You have a permit. You need to fix your driveway. No. My driveway was approved by this town. You got a letter that shows you that, correct? Yes. And then he came in and tore my driveway after it was approved. What do you, you want to take sides with him, you do it, but stick to the facts. Stick to the facts. What I, I'm a big taxpayer in this Dave, town. Dave, Me Dave, too. Let, let Clarence. <clears throat> Me too. I pay a few taxes as well. That's good. That's good. We're what, talking about my driveway being torn up. What I see Unnecessarily. What I see <clears throat> is that water was flowing across your driveway and into the street. Am I correct or not? Yeah, because the bro made it do that. The highway superintendent had a berm created that allowed the water to channel away from the street. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Well, it appears in this picture I've, that the we've water... We've had heavy there. rains and that, and they never had a problem up here. All, All of a sudden, I have my driveway torn yeah. up for what? We, we have a frog yeah. pond over here that created this. Yeah, I told you all about that, and I told you how we were going to fix it, and we fixed it. And we did. Right. And so with this, what, was, what the promise was is that that berm would be removed. No, I removed the berm. I told I you that at the last selectman's meeting that I removed it with my plow truck. So that's that, not that, true. That no, is, stick to the facts. What is correct mm -hmm. is what was promised is that this would be removed. No, no, that's not. Play that tape back. You can oh, never get a please. copy of it. So re 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 what, I want done, what I want done, the agreement was that he was going to come up and regrade the driveway and take out the rocks. <laughs> I had never made I'm the just, rocks that went. I the never made that, that commitment to this of this town. No way. Herb is going to come up and fix the driveway. That means regrading and remove the rocks that were piled up on the left. So, I'm Dave, okay. I'm, con I'm confused on regrading. What did you did? Which way did you push that berm? Did you push it up towards the house? So you pushed it back towards where it came Pull, from. I pulled it back the best I could where it was. You mean you pulled it back into your driveway, not right. out towards the road? No. Well, I pulled it towards the road because he took it from the edge of the road. That's where it came from. It's in front of the road. Yeah. So, so no, it's but I mean, I didn't know. But I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe if he had taken it and like smoothed it back into his driveway. I mean, you can see how the plow actually took it down. Yeah. And what you see is gullies running mm -hmm. from here. Yeah. You don't see anything. This is all fixed over here. Yeah. The good news is, yeah, it's I fixed, know that was right? all fixed. So this is washing down from the top of the driveway. Mm -hmm. That's what's there. And, and you can see how the snow plow pushed it because there's the blade of the snow plow. That's where the berm was. Yeah. Right. And the berm well, I, I had it, but I had it. But listen, listen, I took the snow plow to take the berm out because he tore my driveway up and made a berm, okay? 
That's the reason, and I told you I did the best I could, but I said, you said you were gonna have the highway department come up and fix my driveway. Four times you told me that. You wanna take sides with him and be a puppet, do it, but don't lie to me, okay? I talked to you at the post office, I talked to you on the phone, and you talked to, right here in front of this camera. Right on this camera. Twice so, you said so, you were gonna fix it. So so Dave, you Mike. You showed up pictures all you want. That's what he's supposed to be fixing. That Mike, damage. But but that the damage doesn't exist. That damage longer. right there was because of because, because I had to smooth it out because of what he damaged my driveway. Mr. Chairperson, can I say something? You can. With all the driveways that have been put in this town and everything else, and haven't had any problem except for one. Well, that's you approve my gentlemen, gentlemen, through the, the gentlemen through the board. I have not approved through, any through driveway. The, through I the chair. signed off any driveway. First, chair. first, first and foremost, back to your original discussion about new driveways. Two or three driveways down the road from me, we had an issue last year. Correct. He restructured his driveway. Existing driveway. Correct. Yeah. He closed off one side, mm -hmm. and then all the water was coming. We literally had like four inches of ice. Correct. You didn't come by with a loader and put a berm in front of his driveway. No, I scraped all the ice out of the road as best I could, so it wouldn't be a safety hazard during the winter time. But there, I there was, spoke to there, the homeowners. There wasn't, a, and we had this discussion. He was going to fix it. And the homeowners it, realized what the problem was, and they took care of it as best they could for the rest of the winter. Correct. And they hired the contractor to come back and correct the issue. Correct, which it is, and he's got a right. drain pipe under there that's that, draining to the. That side. had nothing to do with a driveway commit because it was an existing driveway before my time. So back to the permit, you and I met with Mr. Holcraft and you approved what he did. I said it looked fair or whatever you want to call it. You And then you came to a meeting and asked why his driveway wasn't paved yet. You don't approve a driveway and then ask why his driveway is not paved yet. Have you seen my paperwork? Has it been signed off? Has his paperwork been signed off? Clarence, no, Clarence it showed, has not been signed off. Clarence showed a letter from Cindy stating that it was approved. No. no. In that, in yes, that you package. did. You no, showed a letter here. <coughs> there was in you showed us a letter right here on that camera. Dave, Dave, calm down. No, I'm sick of the lies from this guy. Calm down. Yeah, he wants to be a I, puppet. If he's going to take you, it. Dave, if you're not going to calm down, I'm just going to stop this conversation and yeah. nothing's yeah, going to okay. be resolved. I'll calm down. I'm real calm it, right a, now. It's a civil meeting. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sick of the lies in this town. Mr. Chairperson. One second, please. I want Clarence to find the letter. I We'll look for it. Remember the, remember the packet that you passed yeah. out? The first yeah. Time? I, I thought know. there was yeah. something signed. There was, there Where's was the existing yeah. driveway permit that uh, supposedly is signed? I have everything clipped together. I just have a bag full of stuff. So I want to have patience and let Clarence. Clarence has got all the documents. I, I just don't know that I have it That's here right. tonight. That's not that one. So while he's looking, Dave, my and again, this is my only question, is that I have no problem with, with if we can't ask him to do it because he's not going to do it telling him to do it, to come down there with a loader and, and actually back blade with a loader. It's going to be a lot more compact. He's not going to bring a, a compactor down there and compact. He's not going to bring a roller down there and compact it. But my question is, you're asking for more material. There was never material taken away from that. Yeah, but it's all ground up now. So you get, I had that nice material on the top, so it should still you're going to have to put it back the way it was. But it should still be there. Well, it's all underneath, though. It's all ground in now. Mr. Chairperson? According to the his that location driveway permit, it says one twenty foot length of pipe, yeah. not forty feet. But so yeah. my recommendation as the highway department to the board of selectmen to this person here with this driveway permit is it needs to be put to one twenty foot length of pipe and complete the drive. But you were gonna before I would sign off. You were gonna let it go. We we sat there and we talked about it. You we talked it. about it and everything else. Yeah. But one thing keeps leading to another, and so on and so forth. The paperwork but this, that, the, he approved, that he signed and gave a check for. I, I agree with you, but at the same time, when we went there the second time, you approved it. Approved. The thing is, is, we'll keep going back there. Jeff I don't want to keep going back there. I thought this was resolved Be, when, when you three went out no. there. It was until he tore it up. Well, well, he tore it up before you guys went out there, and that's why I, I thought, think it was, I the water, it was resolved. The amount of water that came out of that driveway and washed down across the street mm -hmm. and washed out a bunch of stuff down the road. Yeah, that's not true. All come out of his driveway. And the culvert took care of that, what Clarence did? It is for the moment. It is. It's, 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 right right right. it's very simple. The, the diagram I made, it was very simple. We went up there and we did it. <laughs> 
Well, let, 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 let me put it this way. Right. The diagram I drew was more correct. I'll keep I'm the one that designed it. It was very guys, simple. Guys, guys, and you have to just work, work add it to it like it's a big to-do when I'm in grade school. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm getting back to I'm the close. getting back to so, the, so the material. If I have two, 40 feet or 20 feet on that driveway, that it doesn't right? matter because it's a ditch on the, both the, sides. The problem in front it's of the safety this, factor. The problem right in front of this board right now is the two requests was to regrade it and bring material in. I don't see a need to bring more material in. I have no problem with him coming back and regrading it. And that would be for the sole purpose of backlading it because that's going to put the hydraulic pressure on it and back it more. Well, if he does it properly. I think he's pretty confident on how to back it. Well, that remains to be seen this, at this, this time. Shows, that wasn't the last one. That's not the one? Because this in one, this one shows that he, they received a check. In order for him to uh, pave the first 10 feet of that driveway, he's going to have to remove material there anyway. So he's going to have to hire a contractor mm -hmm. to remove material in the first 10 feet of that driveway to pave it. But the onus would be on him to do that. Well, then you're going to have a machine here making a mess of the whole thing, anyways. But the problem is, the problem is, sir, I'm going to tell you right now. If you would have done that to my driveway, I would have been more upset than David Holt. I had to dig out another driveway up on one I'm just, I'm just telling you, to get the water without, without, the without, without you contacting me and doing it, I went up there. I was down in Florida. I got I'm still four, on town property. I got four phone calls on that when I was in Florida. We're still on town property. When I came up and I went up there, Herb, it, it wasn't. It, it was literally a burn. I hmm. couldn't have gotten over it with my car. With the amount of water that was running out of there, you had to do that, Steve. There should have been some type of communication with the homeowner. There should have been. I don't have any telephone numbers for him. Yeah, everybody knows how to get a hold of me. <laughs> you know how to get a hold of Dave Holcraft. You're the only one that doesn't know how to get a hold of me. I, I, think, I think the only... I want to read this letter right now. This letter is to confirm that the driveway at 16 East Main Street, property owned by, by you, was in acceptable condition on October 27th, 015. Keep reading. Herb has given his okay for the driveway to be paved. Driveway's not paved. That's correct. But that's a sign off of accepting. Yeah. That's not a complete sign off. It was it's ready to break, but it was the angle and everything was fine, the length of pipe, everything the, was good except for the pavement. So we don't jump, jump and, okay, the fine, the driveway was fine, the angle was good, Dave, you were happy yeah. with it. So, so and her, I did so, everything you said. So her, without the board taking action, making a vote and all that, would mm -hmm. you just go up there with a the loader, backblade it, compress it a little bit, make it nice? So it can be torn up again, so we that, can pay that, it. That's on him. Who's going to tear it up? The only person tore it up is you. Dave, it's would you be willing if him or Donnie went up there, backbladed it with a loader? Yeah, if, if, yeah, if they go up there and do it nice, send Donnie there's, up there, he'll do it nice. There's no doubt in my mind Herb or Donnie would do a good job on it. And he doesn't like the rocks on the left side, so let him take them the, off the The case same before time. us isn't the rocks on the left side. The yeah. case before us is what you, okay. what you brought before us. Well, why they're going up there? They should do two things at the same time. That's on them. Okay. No, I ain't removing the, any stones that was put there by the homeowner. The issue here is backlading what they did. Yeah, if you're gonna, if once again I asked Clarence, he said if he was gonna take care of this, and I also, if you remember what I said, is, is he gonna orchestrate it, and then will it be done? Is what I asked, said to him. Well, and you, obviously that didn't happen. You don't want to shoot the messenger here because Herb's the one that told him that he wasn't gonna do it. So I'm who's, asking, who's, I'm, who's in charge of Herb? Who's the boss this, of Herb? Then that's why it's on this agenda. No, you three. Yeah. Correct. And that's what he just. So did. let's let's have some uh, let's have some discussions and dis decisions. We've here. we've had a ten minute discussion. I know. Uh, no, let's I'm have asking, a decision. I'm asking you, Herb. Are you okay with going up there or Donnie going up there and backlighting it? We'll go up there and take care of it tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is that acceptable? When it's done, he's, it still has to be paid, <coughs> yes, and it still know. has to be approved. It has not been approved. Everybody thinks it's still approved, which it's not. But the he's, he's, okay, he's, not okay, he's okay to pave. Once he paves, you're not going to No, pay. he's not okay to pave. Even if I backblade, he is not okay to pave. What does he have to do to pave? He's got to drop the gravel down at least two inches or better but in order to pave. That's at his discretion. But you're not going to once he paves, you're not going to make him tear out twenty feet of culvert, are you? To me, I want twenty feet there. I don't want forty feet there. But you know, we're we just keep fighting this back and forth. And I want this to go away. I thought, I thought through Clarence's work. Steve, he's gone. you know, no, nothing's ever going to go away. This will go away if you go and back late at Dave. No, this is going. It'll never go away because it's just going to be one other issue to another and issue. When is this getting paved, Dave? We're talking about this issue right now, or right now. 
So it's going to be backlighted tomorrow. When's it going to get paved? As soon as the weather, as soon as things dry up. Do you have a time frame? Have you contacted? No, them? I don't know how the weather's going to be. Right. But so, you, you want you understand with runoff and whatnot, there's a potential but, of this going away. Yeah. But listen, now you people, are, you're talking, you're talking in circles again. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm this straight. This was no. everything was handled and done properly to his. No, it wasn't. Then why would you send this to me? What do you think? I'm stupid. It appears. Ah, it appears. What do you? It says approved right here. You sent this to me. Come on, you're talking to me now. You're not talking right. to some retail. No, I, I'm done with the driveway up there, so, so I'm going to I'm gonna, well, back it, and I'm out of there. Thank you. And when the driveway gets paved, somebody's got to take and inspect that, and I want nothing to do with it. Well, that you would inspect it to sign off on it. You put it like I said, I still haven't signed off any paperwork on that driveway yet. But he's okay to pay. And it's pretty bad that, you know, one driveway out of, uh, you know, Couple hundred driveway permits in town, and we have one issue. Yeah, but you, didn't go, we around, don't, you didn't go around tearing up everybody's driveway, but mine. Easy. That's the issue. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is rectified. You're going to backlate it tomorrow. Yep, we won't cut trees tomorrow. We'll go up and take care of that. Herb, come on. No, it's. First thing in the morning, 7 a.m., getting a load to go down there, backlate it, and then. And the guy's going to be there at 7 a.m. to go cut trees, so. <laughs> Then. I'll just call them up and cancel. Well, then you can go. You can go for right, you're, you're, going to, you're going to an extreme. It'll take you. Yeah. It'll take you ten minutes to get up there, five minutes to backblade it, and ten minutes to get back. No, let let him let him have this tree guy come in, and he can come one. He can schedule for Monday or yeah. something when he's not having a tree guy come in. How's that? Sound? It's not going to happen after this week, so. No. Be done this then next time you shouldn't, you shouldn't go tearing up people's property because you know. So, you're not so then I would it. ask her if you do it at your discretion, where it's not going to interfere with the tree work. Yeah. I want a time frame on that. You're, you're, the, you're the one that just recommended a week. Yeah, within that's fine, but I'm asking so, you, is that going to be good? So within a week, are you, you're not a good within a week? Because he said he's demanding a time frame from me, okay? You told him You tomorrow. just asked him when he's going to pave the driveway, all right? You <coughs> should ask him to put a time on it. Yeah, I mean, if, if the weather's good, I'll be done the, in 30 days. The, we the weather was good last year. If he completed everything last year, he would have been done and over with. Is, is this there, issue wouldn't have been happening. Is there a time frame on driveway permits? Yeah. Yes. And when did he apply for the permit? Linda had that form. Yeah. Was it 2014? It doesn't matter at this point anyway. Cause yeah, it was 10-21-14. And what's the time frame? Yeah, what's the time? Two years. Two years. So he's got. <coughs> he's got so for the time frame has gotten is not even hmm? being entered into this discussion. Well, you you wanted a time frame. And you're saying he's well. saying he doesn't have time to do it. March eighth, I was down here, and Clarence, you told me he was going to go up at the end of that week to fix it, and then you and then it didn't happen. Oh, it's raining, and the next week it didn't happen, and the next week it didn't happen. Well, I think it was two weeks, but that's okay. What's today's date? 12. 12. Yeah, it's over 30 days already, and it still isn't fixed. So I've been pretty patient. I even talked to him and said, I'll be patient with you. If he's working up on the corner on Weber Road, I don't want to take him away from that. Didn't they, I talked to you about that. I didn't want him to take away from that. I was very patient about it. Even though my driveway got torn up, I was pretty cool about it. And I'm being on pretty understanding right now, too. If, he, if he's going to do trees tomorrow, let him do his trees. But next week, he should schedule this in with some other stuff besides tree work. So can we do it within a week without jeopardizing any of the work in town? It's not. It'll. It'll have to happen this week. Period. Can you make it happen this week? Yeah, like I said, we won't cut trees. I'll have. I got other things that I got to do also. Let's just get period. It. Huh? In the the tree <laughs> issues. I think I, pers I personally think you're going to an extreme if you're yeah. going to cancel trees, where, where it could fall on a citizen. I only got two people. Yep. Yeah. All right. Two people ain't going to go out and start cutting trees with the tree guy, and that's it. It takes more than two guys it's because we're not young people anymore to pull brush and pump wood all the time. We're all over the hill. <laughs> speak for yourself. All right, so I'm going to leave it in your hands. Understand that I, I, I think I can speak for the board that we don't want to jeopardize tree work for backlading a driveway. And I'm saying the same. I'm being patient <coughs> once again. So I'm going to at, at discretion of the highway at the high, at discretion of the highway superintendent within a week. Like I said, it'll get done tomorrow. All right. Thank you, sir. It'll be done tomorrow, and I'll be, I'm not going to... 
I'm, I'm begging you not to jeopardize tree work, but I can't. Well, we I got can't. it. We only can do so much tree work, and that's it. And yeah, I'm not going to micromanage your activities for tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Any other discussion? We good? No, I'm just going to keep this stuff so we'll have it for the next discussion. There's not going to be a next discussion because we're done. I pray. No. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Hope he settles it. Item number four. Uh, before you start uh, going to something else, I know you've been. We're going to do something about cleaning catch basins. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Me? Did you ever find, we discussed at a Thursday meeting, did you ever see if Mass DOT was going to allow Chapter 90 money for it? Well, we have already been approved for a part of it. You were going to, you were going to have Cindy call to see if it could be? This just happened to come up. It's up in uh, Seabrook, Mass. That's the boom? Yep. Can we purchase that with Chapter 90 money? I'm uh, pretty sure that we can, yes. Okay. And then what are we going to pitch it to? The, an old truck that you have you, now? We're going to have to go through one of the other trucks and set it up on that. Oh. Okay. Tell me you want the original. So what, what can we get? Um, to, what are you going to yeah. pay for this one? Yeah. That, uh, I got to call a gentleman back tomorrow on that. Where is it, Herb? Uh, what did I say? Is Seabrook Mass? You said Seabrook, yes. Seabrook, okay. For how much? 8,500 bucks. Oh. It's uh, brand new. Mm -hmm. There's only three that were made. The guy uh, went out on business on its own there. So. <coughs> I'll entertain a motion to allow the highway superintendent to purchase through chapter 90 money uh, catch basin boom from Seabrook Mass for the amount of $8,500. I'll make that motion. I will second it. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Thank you, sir. Now you have a, or do we have it in our other while he's still here? Um, I just put that in other. Uh, no. We have the conservation committee. That's clear cut. That's done. Uh, the UMass Wetlands Survey has nothing to do with him. Um, uh, you have the agenda. Okay, so in front you have the yeah. Do you have in your other? Yeah, because there there's was an email There's earlier nothing today. in the other folder. For, I think from Cindy about. Uh, That's the conservation committee WPA. Okay, so you one. don't have any question. No, I spoke with Cindy no. today. So we're okay. Yeah. So good. All set. Thank Thanks. you, sir. Yes, sir. So that item four, U.S. Wetlands Survey. <coughs> We discussed this about a month ago. We had asked um, the administrative assistant to forward to two um, entities. Um, one was the Conservation Commission. They had no problem. They, um, and then the uh, superintendent's office. The superintendent's office requested that the survey be done in late September or October. So I entertain a motion to allow said survey to be completed between late September or October. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 If you haven't noticed, I'm taking minutes as well. We noticed. Yep. Okay. Clerk appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that this morning in the shower. Um, item number five. Attorney General's abandoned housing initiative. Although it seems like it was a uh, week ago that we sat at a meeting yesterday, um, it was just yesterday, and it, it was, was less than 24 yeah. hours ago. And it was one of the most, I want to say, heartfelt, yes. emotional mm. discussions I think I've ever been involved mm. in um, with a lot of questions asked, and yes. they were good questions. Um, at the end of the discussion, the onus uh, is taken by the Board of Health that they are liable for individuals that violate any code like that. Um, through a vote of the Board of Health last night, they're going to set a time to actually survey the entire town, itemize every single property that they feel is in violation, compile that mm -hmm. list in another meeting, uh, decide what letters they want to send out certified to those people, 
and then the response of those certified letters uh, through that the list will be a cor a incorporated uh, to the Attorney General's office and then we will send that list to the Attorney General's office after that process. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds like an overwhelming jar yep. job for the Department of Health. They, they recommended it through discussion and I, I commend them highly for taking on that. So they will, they will look at all properties abandoned and not abandoned? Well, that, that was part of the heartfelt question because and I made that argument last night. We need to take abandoned off. We need to take all these words off. The key word that we have to focus on is violation. That that's the word that has to be our key phrase. We, we can't worry about abandoned properties. We can't worry about bank-owned properties. Me, personally, the letters I'd like to be sent are the bank-owned properties. I was going to say that, too. <coughs> Just the bank-owned properties. Those but would be the they, ones, they, that, they, the ones that need to be. Because they... They don't want to start something we can't take back. I'm on board. We don't want to start something about that we that we can't stop. No, <clears throat> Dave. Let me, let me, well, Dave, health, Dave was at the meeting as well yeah, last the night. The health board decided that they are going to send letters out before we go to the AG. They're going to send letters to all the homeowners in town first, so, and then if they don't do what they're supposed to, then they may take the next step of going to the AG. Okay. So now, got, I think that's what you're looking at. There's a couple of issues here, so. You, you were going to make an external review. You, you're not going to go inside the building. You can't by law. Right. So you're going to look at. So you they can't even go on. They can't even go on the. Who looks at my house and yep. you say they're going to send me a letter and what they, what's the letter going to say? That the onus is on them for the letter. <clears throat> well, just the experience with the attorney general's office was is that. When you send letters to banks, you get response. Mm -hmm. You send letters to homeowners, you don't get response. Mm -hmm. and so we have, so we're, we're going to send letters to homeowners. The, the, the homeowner says, well, that, well, that was a nice letter, good box. So what well, happens? That would be added to the pile that we would send to the Attorney mm -hmm. General's office. They spoke but, but you don't send those, you only send to the Attorney General's office, not more than 10. Mm -hmm. They have to be abandoned residences. Abandoned residences, that's the clarification. Mm -hmm. You can't, if somebody's garage is falling down, that doesn't count. If it's beyond repair, that doesn't count. I, I'll, I'll pass on the abandoned piece. I did not know it was strictly abandoned for abandoned, the Attorney General. Abandoned, <coughs> AHI, abandoned residential houses. What's that mean, abandoned? Abandoned, what's, what's that, that mean? Uh, it's not being lived in, and uh, period, it's not being lived in, it hasn't been lived in for a period. No, that's not right. I, I, I've owned houses in other towns, and I kept the grass cut, and I owned it, paid my taxes, and the towns never bothered me, ever. Well, it was not, abandoned. And, and, they, and maybe they're in good shape. They have to be abandoned residences, and they have to violate safety, health, sanitation codes. Well, that, that's, where the that's, board, and that's where the Board of Health, and I'm, right. I'm, I'm happy to hear three members that agreed unanimously yep. that that's their charge. And, and, and Dan kept going back to, to the, I believe, I don't remember her name, but she was the head of the Worcester uh, County Department, oh. how she brought up the enclosed, non-enclosed pools, the fallen down sheds, and yep. the, the yep. Uh, debilitating floors were firefighters. He, brought, he talked about children, and, he, and I kept bringing up firefighters because we have to really face. And Chief, I'm glad you're here. <coughs> um, we had, had, they contacted you today in regards to the signs on the buildings? All right. I know I spoke to you years ago about that. What's the clarification on the mandate? Is there a state mandate that we have to label buildings, abandoned buildings, with the X no, and the half line? I think it's a law. Right. I've never seen a law on that. I thought it was a law after the mill fire. When you put something like that, you're, you're telling people it's open source. Well, no, what you're telling is you're telling the men and women that are going to rush into that building that it's not worth rushing in there because they could potentially die. That, that, that's the... In a small town like this, everybody knows what's important. I'd argue that Worcester has precincts within fire departments. They knew what the mill fire was about, and they rushed in because they thought there were two human beings in there. So. Have you given the Department of Health a time frame to get this done? I mean, 
those guys, they're, they're employees, they work, you know, what are they going to the, do the, the letters, well, Dan was right on top of it. He had, he had contacted the assessor's office, he had field cards on properties, uh, he had taken yeah. rides, he had a list himself. He, he was on top of it this weekend. It's a pretty subjective list. I mean, they're going to go by my house and say it's, uh, it's, it's uh, meet the codes, by your house, somebody else's house, how, how do they, what are the, there's got to be some limitations on this. This is a very broad <clears throat> approach they're taking. I think it's going to be years before you get I, I disagree because I'm going to stay on top of it. That's why I went to the meeting last night. I, I was actually encouraged, Kermit, after the discussion I'm last night. Are you? I mean, here's a program that's worked with over 100 communities in the Commonwealth. And they've got 1,300 houses, and we're reinventing the process. And, uh, and it's worked, and we went after just the bank-owned abandoned properties. They have an 80% factor of getting them done. We could start this program in weeks and start the process in months to get some of these bank-owned abandoned properties uh, on, back on the tax roll. This process, I guarantee you... Well, if, if they're bank-owned, they're already on the tax roll because the banks are paying the taxes to keep them. Yeah, they are. They are off. You're right. They are on the tax roll. My they're issue... Abandoned. They're abandoned. They're My issue... And, was, and they're, they're a blight and they're a safety net. My issue is a safety through violations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, whatever. Me, personally, I think it might take them three months to do it. Uh, okay. That's just where my time frame is because once they've compiled that list... And then, so they, then, then they send letters out to they were, these people? They were going to give them certain... Can you imagine the impact that people are going to have when they start getting these letters that, you know, your house is an unsafe situation? Be, I mean, it's going to send out 50 letters? If it takes 50 letters, I, I encourage it. Because you have a gentleman that's sitting in the back that takes care of dozens of men and women that run into those houses that could potentially die because there's an issue there. I commend 50... I, I, 10 is too little. There was an individual that only wanted to compile a list of 10 and send out 10 letters. We need to hit every well, single house in Brookfield. AHI, the Attorney General said, look, don't go overboard with this. Yeah. Start off with 10. See how it works. You may end up doing five. Then if it works well, then you put another list together and gradually work through it. There's don't no, overwhelm the process. There's no, right? doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that there will be a list of 10 by the three-month period on that time frame. There was talks about bringing it to the town meeting. I, I don't encourage that. Okay. Dave? I, I, I disagree. Okay, I got a question for you and Carmen. I mean, the whole idea I thought of this program was for blight places that don't mm. look good. I thought that was the whole purpose of when it first came to town. I mean, blight, how it looks bad. Now, the two houses over on Kimball Street, they're bank owned. Yeah. And those houses look better than some of the other houses in this town. It just, there's some stuff in the yard that needs to be removed, and then that's up to the health board say, hey, we remove the stuff. But I think before we send the AG after normal citizens in our town, they should get a letter like they agreed on last night saying, hey, you don't clean up your property, if you don't fix whatever's dangerous, okay. then we're going to go to the AG. But why sick the AG on them when you don't even give them a chance to? That's why we get boards and committees in this town, to work with the residents. To clarify, blight is one of the issues. Uh, right. Safety, health hazards. Sanitary, septic systems, so forth. Are, are well, the septic system would be nothing if the house is empty. They're not going to be overflowing if they're empty. So that when well, there's, 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 sold, there's a lot, there's a lot of bullets on that list. Yeah. I, I'm not willing to send names because the grass is overgrown, or that there's or that or there's a shingle missing mm -hmm. on the roof, or there's a dead raccoon in the yard. I, that's not where I would send it. That's where I'm at. I, blight. I, I, you know, we, we talk about... That's, a, that's very subjective. 100%. Mm. You know, to me, solar panels on a house are ugly. Yeah. That's just my... I'm not going to put a solar panel on my house because I don't like it. But what's the purpose of this thing? What's the purpose of this program if it's not the looks? It's not the looks. To me, it's, it's a violation. It's a safety yeah. issue. Yeah, okay, it's a safety, safety issue. issue. Okay, that's the health boards. That's their job. Mm. And that's why we came to the meeting last mm. night and they took charge and they took onus of it. And they're, uh, they're working it. I, w I think we need to back up. It's the Attorney General's office looking at how it could help through the housing uh, meltdown is really how this thing all gets started. So that what, what they found and they've proven is that by approaching the banks, because they don't want to leave these houses just not there because eventually the house will cave in. 
But what, what could the Attorney General's office do? They could approach the banks and say, hey, look, put this back into habitable yeah. um, uh, condition so that, you, again, you don't have that building where vagrants or others are living in there, so that it, it's a protection of that. So that's how it kind of got started. And it, again, 100 towns, they've had success, especially with the bank-owned buildings, to get people back into those buildings. And I, and I laud them for doing that. What I also laud is the guys last night saying they got to take a ride around with, I think it was Saturday. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how quick they were going to jump on this thing. And they were going to look and identify a number of, build, a number of buildings where they weren't going to be writing, writing hundreds of letters. It was tens of letters to homeowners to give them a heads up, homeowners banks, heads up that this was happening. And then they were going to pick 10 and move forward. And, and again, Steve's talking three months. I, I'm thinking less than that. Yeah. that well, I, 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 my ration, my rationale is compiling the list, getting the list together, having right. a discussion, and they talked about a 30-day um, oh, okay. lead time from that letter. Yeah. So once they sent the letter out, you have 30 days to do X, Y, and Z. If you don't, then we're going to take action. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm, I'm factoring those time frames yeah. in as well. And I just see them taking action. Mm -hmm. and I, I, Again, I love them as well for doing work. I do too. And yeah. I hope that it's the bank-owned properties that they are going after. Because quite honestly, by having just a few things moving, it, it gives a signal mm -hmm. to others that they need to be moving. And that'll be good. And just a couple more questions. The Attorney General said that once you give us this list, we do all the homework. We find out who, who owns the property, who owns the first mortgage on it, who owns the second mortgage. Who, who, they do all that work. We're going to be, that, that responsibility is going to be on us to do that. And if, I tell you what, if I get one of those letters, to me. You'd ignore it. I, I'd ignore it. I'd absolutely ignore it. And if and you're, then, if, so, then, so I ignore it. So you give it 30 days. So what are you going to do to me? You'd be one of the 10 that we'd send to the attorney, attorney general's office. They, they were. Well, no, I'm not abandoned. I, I'm my well, not abandoned. Then that'd be on the board of health. Then what are they? So they're, are they going to sue me? So this that, is that, be a legal issue. That would be on the board of health. We'll have 15 legal. If you have a property that a child could get hurt on, or a firefighter could get killed in. That's uh, a floor that's falling apart on a site visit, we, we can go in and visit. We'd have to pay the inspector to go in and do it. We'd have to pay to have that inspection done. And then once it's deemed that it's dangerous, then we get into the legality of it. Okay, so, so they're going to go uh, look at, just look at externally, look at the property. Yeah, they can't go on the property. They have to do a drive-by. <clears throat> They can't rattle, because I asked to rattle doors, and they said they can't go on the property to rattle doors. Now how can you tell if it's a safety hazard or a, 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 a roof that's bowing, could physically collapse, walls that are literally and leaning you, like this? You right, so may only find five houses at a time, because the ones on Kimball Street, probably externally, they look okay. But they are a potential hazard because they have, people could, vagrants could break into them and so forth. I don't know what their standards are. Well, that's that's when we find that 10 house list that they compiled and see if it's on it. Okay. Attorney General has a criteria list. They come out. I gave them the list. They come out and they say I gave Dan that packet that they gave us because only the three of us got that whole packet. I gave Dan, the chairman of the Board of Health, that packet, and he's actually talked to her twice. And he's what? I'm sorry? He's spoken to her. Was her name Amber? The gal was here. Yeah, the girl I was here. He's actually... It was Amber and Monica? No, Monica Pasena. The, the, okay. uh, the lady that was sitting here. Yeah, well, Monica. Yeah, but the other one was actually, I think, her boss. Right. Yeah. And I think he spoke, he spoke to one of them twice. Monica. Okay. But I'm, I haven't lost sight of it. I'm not sweeping it under the rug. That's the direction they want to go. And if it's just less, if it's more than 10, it's the whole town of Brookfield. I congratulate them for the effort sure. and the ambition. We don't open a can of worms. That's all. Well, that's, that, was their, that was their concern as well. <laughs> they do too. What's that mean, coming? Open a can of worms. That's what we're doing right now. You know, it, it, we're opening, that's what we're doing. It's because there's, there's so many variables in uh, my house, Bonnie's house, your house, or whatever. And how do they say, well, his house probably qualifies, and yours doesn't? If I got a letter like that again, I would just, I would just probably ignore it. I wouldn't. I'd act on it. 
what would you do? Well, if they said, if they, they said if your roof's caving in, I would act on it. I'd fix it. I've had stuff in my yard. They said, Dave, that's not should be there. I removed it. Okay, well, maybe you would. But I'm not I mean, I have. I mean, I've, I've been in, you know, different towns and they tell me different things. I just do it. Well, I, I must say that around your yellow sign is a lot of debris and stuff. No, no, you look. No, there's no debris there. It's all been picked up. But it has. But it has. Periodically, I put things there to give away. That has. That, that, that's a whole different issue. We're talking about houses. Yeah, right. I thought the original thing of this was to try to make the town look nicer. Well, now you now you want to go in and start now you want to go into people's private homes and say hey your ceiling's bad or you got a creaky floor I mean this That's, is America this is we're, Germany we're, we're we're not saying that at all nobody in this room is saying well, you're, 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 you're going in and out you are or you're not you are not I'm saying I'm saying if if a roof line is sagging and it should be repaired and, and there's a huge hole in the roof that obviously is going to let water in and right. rot the floor and Peter and his men and women go in and go and fall yeah. through that floor. And die. That's that's yeah. something that Brookfield should take care of through the Board of Health. Exactly, I agree. And the Board of Health is in charge, yeah. and, and they're working the problem. And back full yeah. circle, I'm very confident that they're going to move forward in a in a very productive manner. Methodical. I don't know if it's so much methodical, but yeah. productive. The key word. If Dan's to be already got on it, I mean, Dan's a good man, and I'm sure yeah. he's. Yeah, they will. I'm going to stay on top of it. And I didn't, you know, I, I want waste of time seems derogatory, but yeah. I didn't waste my time last night coming here. We had a great discussion. It was a good meeting. Yeah. Anything else on this issue? And nope. Carmen, thank you for being part of this discussion and being active in it. Um, item number, we've already done six. Item number seven, DPW discussion. Oh, okay. We brought this up last time uh, through the administrative assistant. Linda has some information in regards yeah. to it. Well, I've been through, I got, I had talked to uh, Bruce Clark last week about it. And uh, he, Bruce is in favor of this, and I think Kermit was also his department. Uh, no, I, I would not, I would, I would clarify that. Oh, you're I not? I, I, Linda, I, I think when I was in there with you, Bruce said, uh, I think it's... Oh, he said he I, thinks... I wouldn't oppose, all right. I wouldn't oppose yeah, it. You wouldn't oppose it. They thought it was yeah, a good idea. It, and I think I said it's really, I think it needs further study. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is what I've I, got. I wouldn't oppose yeah. it outright either. Okay. Because Steve had talked about last week about putting an article on. So some of the information that Bruce gave me, we went back into Mass General Law, and there's quite a bit more to it. It starts at Chapter 41, uh, 69C, and I got every got each of you a, a copy of it. Thank you. And you know it has to be like you know brought up at a town meeting, and then it can go well, on. Sim to similar to a, the assessor's. A ballot question, and then you have to no, fill up. because it has to go to a ballot. It has to go to town's ballot. people. A town's people. We're, we're changing the structure of. We're changing the stru structure hmm. of it, and then then we have to also get a, a board of public works. You know, it would be three three people that are on that board. Just like what we have, water commissioners. There would be three people mm. on the board, and they would all have like staggered. So would would we meld? Would we would we eliminate the water department? Yeah, probably. I'd like to look right. into this more. Yeah. Would, it, one of the issues yeah. CMRPC has with mm. us is because we are separate. Mm. They're just normally dealing with water and power. So yeah. power and, and this would water and, and this would it. and this would bring in like um, say if we had parks and recreations. But I mean, it could bring the cemetery well, into it and everything. We could bring the cemetery into it. Yeah, we could bring everything into it. And that I just, think that makes sense. Yeah, and I think we should study this more. I thought it was. Oh, just, yeah. I just thought I just thought it was water and highway. No, but bringing cemetery no, into cemetery it. Cemetery and even some DPWs have even included the school departments in with it. But I don't know if we want to with school. Yeah, we're, we'll, we're, no, we'll we'll take it, the school it's, out. It's too. Mismatch. Yeah. Run. But I mean, I think we should. Well, no. I, even if we were, if we're running, if we're yeah. up in full speed, yeah. but I, it's going to take more. Out of it but I think it would take more than just a vote at town meeting this year. All right. So I will review this. You, you can both review it. We'll bring yeah. it up at the next meeting. Yeah, and right. then if well, we the next to... meet. The next meeting is where we need to turn in articles. Worst yeah. cases, we can just put a placeholder. Yeah. On and you know, we could also talk article. to you know town council about it also mm -hmm. and see what they think too. Hmm. Because they tried to do this back in 1999, and it was um, it was a ballot vote, and I know it was, it was turned down on the ballot. It made it through town meeting. 
I don't even think it went through. I think that they did something with, if I remember right, on the letter they had gone, wrote the letter to the Senator Brewer at the time, and I think somehow they did some kind of a home rule petition on it. And that's where I asked for special legislation, maybe. Yeah, for special legislation, mm -hmm. and then there was a ballot question, and the ballot question got turned down, I remember. Colonel? Yeah, we have the water commissioners have a meeting and we were starting a process of discussing a uh, procedure going through to replace Bruce mm -hmm. Clark. This is critical to that. Well, this would take obviously. this. Would well, that's that's that's, person yeah. that, that's why I thought about it last month. Is now if we're going to do it, now is the time to do it. But the thing would I, it would take time to do this. I think it would take a good year before we could really progress with. It. I disagree. There's got to oh, be think? there's got to be models out there that we can. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's a good point. I think we yeah. should look at some towns that are similar in size and yeah. see what they've done and see what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. I.e. Spencer. Yeah. I don't know if they have a East DPW. Brook East Brookfield mm -hmm. does, and Spencer does. East Brookfield does? And Spencer does. Mm -hmm. But even if we pushed out a little further, does it warn or wear or yeah. well, it, it, or whatever? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant time wise. All right. Yeah. 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 And town council might have. Yeah. You know, she generic, might, generic. Yeah. She might have some. That's why I discussed and, after and reading it. Not, and obviously, we need to speak, spend more time talking to the people involved, whether it's her or Bruce or, or the rec department. Somebody even said we could put the transfer station. The, the, the rec's yeah. already turned over to the highway department. They want nothing to do with maintaining fields anymore. So the, the rec department's already turned over that maintenance of fields to the highway department. Good. Yeah, and that's... They, 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 they control the activities. They do the activities, but the maintenance of the buildings and the fields and so forth would be under the quote DPW. I would, I would say that, well, if we change it to a DPW right now, I would say that, that the Brookfield whatever they're calling themselves, I want to say athletic commission. Oh, recreation, Re recreation committee. Recreation right. committee, commission. thank you. Yeah. Um, would maintain the buildings. Mm -hmm. And that's through volunteerism. Yeah. 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 You know, we built the dugouts. I roofed one of the dugout roofs. And I think oh, they want to maintain the buildings, they said? No, you brought up buildings. I, I, I would assume that they're still going to maintain buildings through their funds. Yes, it was just grass. And then some of them, like you mentioned too, Kermit, um, I think some towns also include the landfills. Yeah. With the DPW also. Years ago, our, our department the, um, did, the person I think was hired through um, the highway department years ago before the land, before the Board of Health took it over. There certainly is a lot of advantage in sharing yeah. equipment, sharing yeah. manpower. So Which what, we, we kind of do that now, yeah. but it would be nice to have one head yeah. it's full. that, that it's manages full. Yeah. several departments. And then another another question we would have to go after too when I talk to the town accountant would be like you know right now the water department I think they're kind of pretty much self-sustaining and at the end of the year any money that they have left goes into the what you call water surplus so that's another thing the town accountant said what would we do with this water surplus money that's another thing we'd have to well, it goes out. back into infrastructure. I mean, we can't be yeah. commingling money. I mean, yeah. that's the other piece that yeah. has to get managed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still a lot of information. You know, it's still a lot of homework to be done on this before we really decide what we're going to do. Well, that's, that's my well, personal the, the, feeling. The beauty, the beauty is we can present as much information yeah. as we can if yeah. we put an article on, and then we could present more before a town vote. Yeah. Are you thinking of going to town vote this? We, we would have to, by law. Yeah, by law you have to go. To go to a DPW this year, you're saying? No, no, no. To set the pathway. Yeah, to set a pathway that. to oh, go for. Oh, okay. Yeah, but to, to review it. Yeah, because you have to. To accept it. The town has to accept yeah. it at a town meeting, yeah. and then within a certain time frame has to vote on it. A ballot question. Yeah, it says that it has, um, it has to be at a town meeting, and then it has to be done at least 60 days before an annual town meeting. So, so mean, maybe maybe want to hold off on this until a special, a fall special. To a fall special. Uh, it's a significant. Yeah. It's a significant issue. undertaking. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. It's, that's why. That's why I had all these. That's why I went and got all the information, because we have to accept chapters. Um, it's uh, 41. It would be section uh, 69C through 69F. So there's quite a few chapters that we have. You know, sections that we have to accept under that. So yeah, we could we could do something at a special in the fall and then vote on it at an annual. 
But 60 days, it's more than 60 days, so it would yeah, have we, we to, yeah. I mean, we're not, we can't do this. It, it could be even done, say, if we had some kind of a special, say, even maybe in February. Yeah, but you do, you if, do, if, no, if this no, is saying... No, it wouldn't be 60. No, it would have to be uh, probably in March. We'd have to have a special. Yeah, but I'm saying when I see annual town meeting, it says annual. That means next oh, yeah, June. But, yes, but you have to have a... a a special first to talk about it and get it on, oh, and see. then it has right. to be voted within that 60 days. Voted. All right, so there's a lot of information here. We could talk about this until midnight. Yeah. So yep. let's review this. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll put it on the agenda for next meeting, yeah. and we'll go from there. Okay. But we look, I think we look to the commissioners, water commissioners. To right, not just them, everybody. Everybody, yeah, well, everybody yeah, that's involved. So, I mean, I think you should just, you could should continue, you know, with your hiring of a uh, commissioner. You should go forward with supervisor. that. You shouldn't stop. Hire the supervisor? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go forward to see. But conceivably, you know, you hire somebody who, for, the, for that job who could be the DPW. That's why, that's yeah. why I thought of it. Yeah. So maybe we want to get it on the end. We'll have a special election after. So let's just digest this. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go through it first. So I, maybe, I wouldn't do anything yet until... And maybe we could talk to town council we're, about we're it, too. We're just going through the process of what sequence we have to go yeah. through. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, right. All right, number eight, I will uh, entertain a motion to s allow the chair to sign the WPA request for determination of applicability. Uh, this is for the cleanup... Uh, any potential wetland issues of the campground property. Right, right. I'll make that motion. Right, second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we have no other. One correspondence. Um, this is a copy of the letter from Senator Ian Gobi to uh, Governor Baker requesting, uh, basically inviting on behalf of the Board of Selectmen uh, from the Town of Brookfield to attend Mr. Murray's memorial dedication. So there is a letter out there. I haven't heard a response yet. I, I think it would be a huge honor to have the Governor or Lieutenant Governor at so, that ceremony. Just to give you a heads up on that weekend. So Carolyn is going to join us. Uh, Linda and I attended last year's Friday breakfast and then um, memorial service at the junior high school. Okay. So Carolyn's going to join me. In the meantime, Carolyn's going to give me some bio stuff from Joe uh, mm -hmm. that they have in prior stuff uh, used so that we can maybe read some of that. I had the same idea. <laughs> and I talked to Carolyn on Sunday. And we I should had, come I, to that meeting. I had, the same, I had the same idea. I was thinking about getting together with Carolyn. All right, so I, I've got her on the path. So she will join us on Friday. Are you going to probably join us too? We, we got the, the breakfast. Yeah, because oh. we got the invitation from the breakfast. I'm probably not going to go to the breakfast, but I'll probably do the ceremony. Yeah. Okay. And we don't have to RSVP for the ceremony. Yeah, no. okay. So uh, I'll work with Becky to make sure that she has the, inf the latest information. Yeah. Um, so that, that's on Friday. Yeah. And then on Saturday, the church is opening up Fellowship Hall at 8 o'clock so that the family that's arriving from away or whatever okay. can join or anybody else that mm -hmm. wants a cup of coffee before okay. going down the hill um, can join us there. Okay. And so we'll have some sort of plaque there because on Sunday morning we'll have a, a uh, kind of a special uh, dedication um, that we do anyway for Memorial Weekend. On Sunday morning, uh, where where we recognize the veterans, the families, and past uh, carnations out in the lake, so we'll be doing that on Sunday morning. And so. then the memorial committee, we're meeting again on April 27th, I think. So we'll probably have some more answers too on different things that we're going to have done. Right. And do you need the the uh, pastors available? If, if that's yeah we thought yeah, that would be you, nice if you need some help with that let me know yeah it would yep. be nice but they everybody was going to check because they were going to be checking like to have the marine marine honor guides there yep. and different things like that and see if we can get some you know to have um somebody doing the taps and the whole so we're we'll, we'll have much more information Great. by then and, and, the, and we're hoping i'm sure that the bench will be there a good week ahead of time so we'll have the bench there too yeah, they laid out the the space. Yeah, I know. I went down for that meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other discussion? Nope, that one works. I'm hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn at 7.24 p.m. I'll make that motion. Then I'll second. And I hear no discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.